My name is Sumit Garg. I'm an orthopedic and spine surgeon at Children's Hospital Colorado and an associate professor of orthopedics at the University of Colorado. I'm going to be answering some questions that patients and families may have about how quickly their athletes can return to sports after scoliosis surgery. This is a great question and one that's commonly asked. Most patients with scoliosis actually don't need to have surgery. It's just a very few that have bigger curves who need treatment. What we found is that when curves are above about 45 to 50 degrees, as you see in this x-ray, they're very likely to continue to worsen as patients become adults. And adults with large untreated scoliosis tend to have more back pain and worse self-image than other adults without scoliosis. The reason we treat these patients as adolescents is that they can obtain better correction of their scoliosis with fewer complications and a much quicker recovery than adults. Many people wonder why we try to have patients get back to sports and activities so quickly after scoliosis surgery. And the reason for this is we know that participating in sports and exercise has positive impacts on adolescents' self-esteem and body image and can also help reduce anxiety and depression. Sports and exercise help improve health and overall quality of life, where prolonged restrictions from sports can have the opposite effects with reduced self-image, worse overall quality of health, and increased rates of depression. Traditionally, athletes have been told to wait at least six to 12 months to return to sports after scoliosis surgery. More recently, over the last decade, this has been brought down to about three to six months, likely with the use of modern surgical techniques. However, all of these guidelines are based only on opinions of physicians and their own experience. There really haven't been any studies looking forward on the safety of early return to sports and how that impacts their quality of life. At Children's Hospital Colorado, we do things a little bit differently. We have, for the past decade, actually allowed patients to return to exercise and sports after their first visit after surgery, which generally occurs four to eight weeks after their operation. We believe that the strength of correction we achieve in surgery is very robust with our modern techniques. And this allows patients to resume their sport at their own pace and intensity. We want them to be in charge because they're the ones who know their bodies best. You might be asking why patients at Children's Colorado are able to resume sports so quickly. I think it's primarily due to the use of modern surgical implants and modern surgical techniques. So in the past, we utilized these hooks to correct the spine, and they only grip the very back of the spine, so they're able to straighten it, but they're not very strong. So you have to protect patients and not let them start athletics too soon before the spine has a chance to heal more solidly. Now, we primarily utilize these bone screws. As you can see, they're much bigger, so they allow for a better grip on the spine and increased strength. They also allow for a better three-dimensional correction of the spine than we used to be able to obtain. As you see in this synthetic model, where this represents the back of the patient, this represents the front, these screws are able to go all the way from the back to the front. So they obtain a very strong grip on the spine, allowing patients to resume sports more quickly because we trust how strong the fixation is uh, that we put in at the time of the surgery. Other things that help us get kids back quicker are shorter surgery time, with most of these patients having surgery for less than three to four hours, reduced blood loss, which allows them to uh, maintain more of their strength, and very low rates of complications such as infection. At Children's Colorado, we've allowed patients to return to sports about a month after surgery for over a decade. And we believe this is safe because of the increased strength of the screws used to correct the spine. And we have not noticed complications or failures allowing patients to return to sports early. But we haven't really studied it in a rigorous manner. So we decided as a spine program to do a prospective, which means looking forward, approach to this question. And this has not been done in the past at other centers. We utilized prospective methods and validated patient reported outcomes. To make sure we were assessing only the most active and athletic patients, we only enrolled patients who participated at a club, junior varsity, or varsity level in high school greater than three months a year. We included multiple sports, as you see in this table, including both contact and non-contact sports. 
what we found was that over 50% of our patients returned to their baseline level of play by three months after surgery, 75% by six months after surgery, and over 90% by one year after surgery. These metrics for return to sport are much higher than prior retrospective reports on this topic at other centers. We utilize the PROMISE system, which is a validated system to measure patient reported outcomes across multiple types of medical and surgical conditions. We found that our baseline values were within norms for age, and they steadily improved following surgery as seen on this scatter plot. If you're interested in learning more about the details of our research finding or reading the original paper, you can find it published in 2022 in Spine Deformity, the official peer-reviewed journal of the Scoliosis Research Society, which is the largest and most respected professional society for advancement of care in scoliosis and other spinal deformities. The link is in the video description.